So, good morning. This is to introduce uh, um, the exhibition that is ongoing, which will be closed this uh, this week. Uh, and we are document recording this uh, moment for the sake of uh, documentations and also to describe briefly about the nature of the exhibition, its content, and what it aims to achieve. Uh, before I describe the, descri the exhibition, which we call Kababulosh or Rally, means to take over, meaning to continue. Um, I would like to thank our uh, research funding organizations, uh, which made the research and the exhibition possible. Uh, we've gotten a generous grant from uh, people, uh, Parliament for People Project from SOAS uh, University in London. And that research fund enabled uh, a two years research, which uh, then uh, is enabling us to produce this exhibition and a workshop which has already taken place in May 7, which also had its own uh, recording. So today I'll be focusing on the documentation and the description of this exhibition. Uh, so with that generous grant, uh, they, they, we had a research part and we had also an exhibition which kind of reflects our research. And this exhibition, as I said, its name is Kabebulosh in Amharic. It means to take over, rally or to continue. And uh, uh, it tries to reflect on the documents we have reviewed and the narrative that has uh, transpired from, that, from those documents. And it tries to engage uh, in mapping out women's struggle from the 1950s to 1974 uh, in Ethiopia, and uh, particularly women students' struggle within the broader student movement uh, context. So we, 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 we have seen, one, the question of when and how the women's question was raised within the movement of Ethiopian student movement, and two, we have also looked at how the questions of gender relations or uh, the relations between men and men, women was engaged within the movement called the Ethiopian student movement. And to look into these two questions, we had to dig into the archives of student movement, and which, particularly the archives which are found in Ethiopian, in of Ethiopian Studies in, in Addis Ababa University. And uh, so this exhibition is trying to have a, a relationship or kind of an engagement with those archives and the kind of curating it with a, with, a, with a line that could give us a narrative of how it began and how it evolved and how uh, the questions uh, or women's questions within the Ethiopian student movement was engaged, but also how women's life within the Ethiopian student movement was reflected. So to do so, we had done an archival research, an oral history research, uh, and this exhibition combines a multimedia exhibition, meaning it has uh, uh, an audiovisual part, uh, which we'll look into later, and it has a, a display of the actual uh, archives, and it, it has also a display of a, a narrative that has, uh, that has been curated from uh, the archives, which we'll look into, the public archives. It also includes a private archives, which was collected from oral history interviews, which we included a question which says, do you have any object or a material or uh, a book or anything that you have kept for the last 50 years, which was, which was had a relationship or a link with the movement time? And some women had contributed photographs, narratives, and uh, we do have a private uh, archive section. And the, la the last section is, we have uh, named it a commemorative uh, section, which tries to engage with commemorating the, those works and lives of women within Ethiopian student movement. So this section of the exhibition reflects two parts. One is the archival part, which has a sample exhibition. For this week, we only have this one. But for the previous three weeks, we had three or four types of these showcases, which the Institute of Ethiopian Studies generously offered us the actual real uh, archives which we had looked into during the research, which reflected the, race, uh, the engagement of the women's question, but also the lives of women in the movement. So it uh, brought in the, the actual archives into uh, this exhibition. So it has that section, 
and it also has the oral history section, which I will look into later. Uh, this, this showcase, for instance, is a sample that we kept because we couldn't keep the entire archive here because people would be looking for them uh, for reading. So the three or four uh, more showcases are have been returned in last week. Uh, otherwise, for the previous weeks, we do we did have around four showcases which uh, reflects or shows the actual archives that we have looked into, and uh, some of the samples are here. So just to mention some of the, the, the 